What's up, everybody? For the win, Itachi here. You know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in to a brand new episode on our Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon demos. This is the demo version of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, and it more specifically focuses on Pokemon Sun than Pokemon Moon. And the reason why I say that is the trial that we get to encounter and the name our actual trainer receives. I do want to start off by apologizing for the brightness uh, that you do witness when this gameplay is going on. Um, not all of the uh, speech bubbles get uh, printed out or are shown on the screen. And I do apologize again. This is my very first time uh, recording Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon demo footage, and um, I am going to mess around with it, uh, mess around with the settings of the game, and mess around with the settings on my camera, and mess around with the settings on the lighting around the situated uh, 3DS as well. Um, but we are going to adventure into the city hall with our mom, as always. We are always adventuring in every single region with our mom. And uh, just outside the city hall, we get to see a nice clear view. Oh, well, not a nice clear view. I get to see a nice clear view because I'm playing on my 3DS. But you guys get to see a view of a Machamp and a girl. Uh, that Machamp is goddamn lifting all day, every day. So we are just outside the city hall, and we're going to adventure into the city hall here. And uh, pretty much register ourselves to a brand new region, the Alola region. And my mom is going to do that while we adventure off and experience a couple cool and unique things for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. And again, I do want to apologize. Uh, this not the best quality of gameplay. And I do hope to fix this for when Pokemon Sun and Moon come out. I do have exactly a month to situate this. Um, again, I don't have a 3DS capture card. Um, I am trying my best to use a camera. And... I am trying my best to use another camera. Recording me isn't the, the issue. It's recording the gameplay. And it's the brightness settings that were either too bright on my game or it was too bright in the surrounding areas. So I'm going to go ahead and speak to everybody. Make sure I look at everything that I possibly can in this game. And we are about to leave the city hall and we get stopped by our rival. And this guy is basically talking to us and... I let him know my name, and my name in this game, or this demo version, is Sun. Um, my mom is going to stay here in the city hall and uh, register us to the Alolan region, while my rival takes me out into the open, into the nice, breezy, sunful world out there, and we are going to adventure off and find out a couple of unique things for the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. So we're going to go ahead and venture off and leave the city hall, and little do we know, um, my rivals are sitting out that side with two super gangster ass Team Skull members here, and what's great about this is we finally get to see our very first battle. Um, we got Greninja on our squad, and uh, Greninja is going to be utilized throughout this whole demonstration except for one unique fight, but we're going to be using Greninja as much as possible. And um, you're going to see some cool things in the uh, future of this demo. But we're going to be facing off against one of the Team Skull members. Team Skull is basically the Team Rocket of the Alolan region, or the Team Magma, Team Aqua of the Alolan region, the Team Flare of the Alolan region. But what's great about these guys is they are gangster as. Look, look, look at the moves this guy's got in the background. If only he could dab, that, that this would make it even better. But we are going to be using Greninja. And... We're going to be facing off against a pretty simple Pokemon here. So I'm going to go ahead and utilize what else? What else am I going to utilize from my goddamn Ash Greninja, son? We're going to be using Water Shuriken here. And it should go ahead and take care of this Pokemon, which is the Mongoose, uh, pretty easily here. And it was a two-shot uh, from my Water Shuriken, or one-shot from just a simple Water Shuriken move. Uh, we defeated the... Um, the Team Skull member, and pretty much, yeah, that's about it. That's a, that's that's the battle scene of Team Skull, son, from the demo. I'm not too sure if we're going to be seeing this in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games themselves, but again, this is a demo, and it is showing us basically some of the simple stuff that we can see um, when we get to adventure into these games when they go live within a month, or a month exactly from now. So, before we adventure off into the Pokemon Center, which is where my rival wants me to go to, I'm going to talk to um, some of the people that are out here, out in the wild. There is a building here. Can I go into it? Yes, I can go into this building. 
Um, there is a slowpoke and a random dude here. Uh, they don't do anything. None of the people actually do anything in these cities, but I'm going to go ahead and talk to them anyways. I did actually forget one lady, so let's go ahead and head on back into this cafe, make our way to the left. This lady has a Corsola, so we're going to go ahead and talk to both of them, and then make our way back out of this cafe here. Now that we've made our way out of the cafe, we are going to adventure off into the rest of the street. We've got a random champ. Again, I do apologize for the super brightness of the screen here. Um, but we also have a gate with a patch of grass, patches of grass down here. But sadly, it's asking me to head on over to the Pokemon Center. So before we can adventure off into anything else... Oh, we do have this random guy here. Uh, oh, he says his hey. So he's cool. All he said was, hey, so we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the Pokemon Center. We do have this lady here with a Corsola, and she's blocking off a building. There's actually a few of these Pokemon and people that are blocking off buildings within this demo. Uh, they Either the inside of these buildings aren't ready yet, or they just don't want us to actually adventure into them at all at this moment in time into the demo. So we're going to go ahead and make our way into the Pokemon Center. And when you go actually go to the buildings, uh, you have to click A or the A button to open the door, so that is a new twist to the game. And what I really love is the looks of the Pokemon Center, and when you actually get your Pokemon healed, uh, the animation is very cool. So we do get a super potion from our, um, our buddy here, and he's just going to go ahead and head on over to the uh, little cafe area to the left, and we're going to go ahead and heal up our Greninja from our super strenuous uh, Team Skull demo battle. I'm going to go ahead and check out another slowpoke. Why is there so many slowpokes in my champs here, son? Uh, these guys don't do anything, and what a coincidence. This is the Pokemart. They're out of stock for a month, so we got to wait a whole month for them to get into stock. Uh, just a coincidence, and, and nothing great there, but just a coincidence, especially for those of you that are playing the demo on the very first day of launch, uh, which is uh, October 18th. The game gets released November 18th. Uh, we are now outside of the Pokemon Center, uh, now that we've witnessed everything inside the Pokemon Center, we are finally going to meet up with the Professor of the Alolan Region. Uh, our rival here, or our buddy, is going to introduce us to the uh, the Professor, and the Professor is going to introduce us to our very first trial of the Alolan Region, and the trial that we get to utilize in the demo of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. The trial happens on the northwestern of the of the screen, or the upper left of the screen, uh, there's a guy that teleports us from the city we're at to the location of this trial. I believe there's going to be a couple of routes in between. The guy that's waving in the background, um, yeah, that guy right there, he's going to teleport us to the um, the training grounds for this trial. And I believe the reason why he does that is because they don't want us to adventure into the routes. So he's going to teleport us there and back. There is a truck here, and Sadly, there's no more HM, so there's no more HM strength. Sadly, we can't go into that building. Um, so we don't get to see if there's a Mew underneath that truck. But finally, we can go ahead and open these random little gates that are all over this little city and town area. And on the other side of these gates, there's always these patches of grass. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can encounter a our first wild Pokemon here. Uh, our first battle was against the Team Skull members, but I want to see if we can go ahead and encounter a wild Pokemon. And there's a couple uh, more areas of patches of grass, so I'm not going to force myself to get it from just the first patch of grass that I see. And of course, like I said earlier, there's some tra uh, there's some people that are blocking uh, entrances into buildings, so either the buildings aren't completed yet, or they just don't want us to go there at all at this moment in time. But what's great is we get to go into this building. And now this building is just a simple building with uh, two people in it. They don't really do anything like most of them or most of the people in this city. Uh, no items given to us, so we're going to go ahead and move out uh, from here. Talk to this little random person on the outside of that. And, of course, we get stuck by Pokemon. Uh, we got a bunch of Slowpoke here. Uh, we've got this lady here and the building that she is next to we cannot adventure into. But we've got all of these slowpoke, which I'm going to go ahead and talk to. We can't walk through it. We, I mean, my body fits through the slowpoke. Are you serious? We can't walk through these guys? But no, we cannot walk through. So that corridor of the alleyway is blocked. But we can go ahead and adventure into this gate, which is going to take us down south. 
through patches of grass into the uh, street that we first originally started on with the Machamp, with the City Hall, and we're going to go ahead and see if there was anything that we missed. There's this building that we missed, which looks like the police station, or the officer station, I should say, and it is. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this officer and then make our way back out. On the back, there was, on the other side of the street where we just originally came from, there was a truck, a police truck. And we're going to go ahead and, um, you know what? We weren't able to go through this last time. We're going to go ahead and make our way through it this time. It is another gate with another patch of grass. And again, I'm going to make sure I show you guys everything that we can possibly see um, within the demo. And we're going to do this all in one ver uh, all in one video. And it's actually not that long of a demo. It's only uh, roughly about 30 minutes of actual demo. And I go ahead and show you guys a couple of extra cool things that we were able to showcase to you guys from the demo itself. So we've adventured into every single building. We've talked to every single person. Uh, we got one more patch of grass that we can adventure into. And I'm definitely going to make sure I get an encounter, a wild encounter from here. I wanted to make sure I can get a wild encounter. And we are finally going to get our young goose that we're going to go ahead and encounter with my Greninja. So this is our very first wild Pokemon battle. And again, um, I also noticed um, from this demo, uh, we couldn't uh, level up our Greninja for a past level 37. Right now he's level 36, and uh, we do reach level 37 with this Greninja, but we weren't able to level him past that level uh, XP-wise. We Once he reached level 37, he just stops getting experience points. So... Um, the level, the sun, when you get to Adventure into Sun and Moon, when it goes live, the Greninja that you get is going to be level 37 um, when you transfer him over. So we got a couple of more random people to talk to before we go ahead and head on over to the trial and head on over to the guy that teleports us to the trial location. So let's go ahead and talk to him, and he'll send us to the specific location where we are going to encounter a couple patches of grasses, a couple of random people. And, of course, the professor is going to talk to us and show us where we need to go in order to encounter our very first trial on the demo. And it is the only trial that we get to encounter on the demo. Again, the demo is only 30 minutes long. In fact, you can probably get it under 30 minutes, probably around 22 minutes, which is what I got. Um, if you go ahead and bypass and skip as much as possible and not do as much as I did. If you just do what the demo wants you to do, it can probably be a 15-minute demo. But I went ahead and made sure I talked to everybody, see if I can encounter anything else, and see if I can encounter anything extra. Make sure I show you guys everything uh, in depth on this demo. And what I've noticed throughout the uh, recording, um, the brightness did uh, change a little bit on the uh, 3DS, and it was a little bit better, but then it got a little bit worse. So it, it does, it, you get to see some of it. Um, but hopefully, again, like I said, when I get to do my very first walkthrough, um, I'm going to mess around with the demo again, uh, mess around with the settings, and see if I can um, actually change the quality and make it as watchable as possible. So this lady uh, pinpointed this little dude that thought he was cool as fuck with his goddamn swimming trunks and lobbing up a Pokeball in the air. He is actually our very first official trainer that we get to encounter and he has a Pokemon that is very easy for uh, Greninja to face off against and it is Rockruff so Greninja is going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and use my water type move Water Shuriken because this little puppy here is a rock type and a water always beats rock types again this was our very first trainer that we get to encounter but this trainer was actually supposed to be used for something else later in the demonstration but he was used here and I will go ahead and remind you what he was supposed to be used for once we get to that encounter now that we face off against him there is patches of grass here but I'm not going to go ahead and venture into that we're going to go ahead and venture into this cave where we finally get to see the professor uh, with a Pikachu and that Pikachu does join us but it doesn't join us for long it only join, joins us for this trial and uh, this is where we actually get to encounter the trial and what we also get here is the uh, the Pokey Finder, which is the Rotom Pokédex type thing, and we're going to be using the Pokey Finder during our trial. So Pikachu has just been given to us for the um, the trial, and and we finally get to adventure into the first trial. So there's that little hole there. 
and the trial is about to start and there's these little holes and we need to find these Pokemon in them. So you go to the hole, uh, you fire up the Pokefinder and you'll see a Pokemon within the hole. All you have to do is capture a picture. You get one, two, three, four, five. You get six attempts to capture a picture or a decent picture of a Pokemon within the hole. And once you capture a picture of that Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon will then encounter us in battle. It is the dragon type Pokemon, which I was very um, shocked to see. Uh, they were uh, giving us the opportunity to adventure against this uh, dragon type Pokemon, which usually would uh, be later into the storyline, the dragon types. But this is a demo, so it is not completely what we're about to expect when it goes live. And uh, we do, I'm very happy that we get to uh, go against this dragon type anyways, because it is very cool. And uh, the final evolution looks really cool as well. So... I went ahead and used a different move than Water Shuriken because Water Shuriken isn't great against that Pokemon. And uh, again, what the professor's talking to us about right now is he apologizes for not telling us or warning us that when we take a picture of these Pokemon, that they go ahead and um, encounter us. So I'm going to go ahead and keep moving through this cave. And we did get alerted or notified that there's another Pokemon within this hole. So we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. Fire up the Poke Finder. And we're going to go ahead and use the camera. Now, a little bit different with this guy is that he moves. And it is the same Pokemon. And I didn't get it on the first capture, but I did get it on the second capture. And, of course, once you have captured a Pokemon, you have startled it. So it is going to encounter you in a battle. So our job here is to face off against this Pokemon and force it to faint. There are four different quests within this trial, and I'm going to call them quests. Uh, the, the All four of them are the same, so there's four different Pokemon that we do need to find within this cave. And the last one appears to be not within the cave, and I'm not going to spoil it yet, but I will eventually spoil it in this video. Um, that Pokemon is next level. Next level! So, we use Aerial Ace twice against this guy as well. And we were able to clean him up. Pretty simple. Next up, we're going to go ahead and continue on throughout this cave. We're go Again, we've photographed two different Pokemon thus far. Or two of the same Pokemon, but two different actual Pokemon. And we're going to continue through this cave. And we get notified or alerted again that there's another Pokemon in this hole. And what's cool about this one is you're about to see... Uh, we finally get to see the evolution of the first two Pokemon that we've... The first two Dragon types that we saw... We finally get to see the second evolution of this Pokemon, and I captured it within my very first try. Uh, Hakamo, we finally get to see him, which is the second evolution for this dragon type. Hakamo -oh has appeared, and of course we're going to be using Greninja. You're probably like, why don't you just give Pikachu a chance? You'll notice why I haven't given Pikachu a chance yet. He will be in a little bit. So... We're going to go ahead and continue with Aerial Ace because it is super effective against this Pokemon. And, um, yeah, pretty damn simple now that we've got a flying type against this type of Pokemon. Uh, Aerial Ace is, again, super effective, so it made it very easy. So that is quest number three out of four that we have completed. So we're going to go ahead and continue on through our adventures and try to find the last one. And we get notified right away that he is outside. He or she is outside of the cave. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over there. Down the ledge to the left and go up north. And now that we have made our way through the cave. Uh, we are now in a vast landscape that is very actually beautiful. And we have been alerted and notified that there is a Pokemon in the area. And we're going to go ahead and use our Pokefinder again. So let's fire it up. And we see him just in the distance, just in front of us. So very cool. It is the final evolution of the Dragon type. And he's just going to be coming lunging at us. And he's super ferocious looking. But again, I really love Dragon type Pokemon in the Pokemon franchise. And this one looks very cool. So this is our very first totem Pokemon, Hakamo. And we are going to face off against them. Basically, he gets a special defensive uh, risen. And basically, totem Pokemon are overpowered Pokemon of the species. They always get a specific buff to a specific stat. And they also sometimes, I'm not sure if all of the trials are like this, but again, I'm going to use Aerial Ace because it is super effective. But um, I believe most totem Pokemon get to call out an alley Pokemon. 
And the alley Pokemon that um, this one calls out is a Rockruff. So it is very simple for Greninja to take care of. And the reason why I'm going to take care of the Rockruff first is because of Ash Greninja's special ability, um, which is to turn into Ash Greninja. So I'm going to use Water Shuriken on this Rock Ruff. It should take care of it pretty simple because it is a Water type against a Rock type here. And it is super effective, of course. And what we get to see is now that we have killed, uh, I'm going to say killed, but we've made a Pokemon faint in battle. And um, it, the Greninja gets to turn into Ash Greninja himself, becomes a little bit more powerful. And, of course, changes its appearance into the Ash Greninja himself. So now we get to face off against the totem Pokemon alone or solo with no more ally. So it should make this a little bit easier. Uh, but the fact of the matter that this guy knows Headbutt and has been super buffed up to the max, um, it made me flinch. So it's going to continuously use Headbutt. So hopefully I don't flinch every single time. But I do have Aerial Ace, which is a super effective move against this Pokemon. And it should take care of it pretty simply. So now that we've completed all four quests, we've taken uh, photos of all four Pokemon. There's Greninja, who has now uh, risen to level 37. It does have the uh, Ash Greninja celebration after the fight, so that was very cool as well. Um, but we have completed all four quests. We've taken pictures of all four different Pokemon, and we have completed our very first trial. But it is not over yet. We're almost done with the original part of the demo, um, but it is not over yet. Our rival or our buddy uh, does come and checks us out in a bit, but I did finally get our Z-Ring, and it has been equipped to the wrist, and now you'll see why I haven't used Pikachu yet, because we are about to use Pikachu in just a little bit. Um, again, my buddy or my rival is about to come into play, and we did get Electrium Z, and it is already automatically equipped to the Pikachu, so we're going to be able to use Pikachu's Z move in just a little bit. Um, our buddy, cool as, he, he attracted uh, the team school members that we slotted earlier, walking in all gangster. If only they could have hit him with a dab, it would have been a little bit cooler, but uh, Pokemon didn't want to hit, him, hit us with a dab. So we finally get to see the sister, or the um, admin of Team Skull, and we actually get to face off against her. But instead of using Greninja, we are going to use Pikachu. And the reason why we're going to use Pikachu is so we can experience what a Z-move looks like. Again, the goddamn footage sucks. I know, and I truly understand. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out anyways. Uh, we're going to be able to use Pikachu again. We're going to be able to check out its Z-move. And what makes this fight actually great for a demo is the fact that sh her Pokemon is part flying. And of course, Pikachu's Z-move is electric. She has a Golbat. So it made this very, very simple. But it was great for a demo because we get to see how actually powerful these Z-moves are. You're only allowed to use these Z-moves once in battle. So you have to choose them at a specific and a strategic part of the battle. Uh, you can't just use it when, imagine someone uses Protect on your Z-move and you can no longer use that Z move ever again. That would make you feel painful and hated inside. So, let's go ahead and uh, spice up the Z move with our Electrium Z uh, on our Pikachu, and he's about to freaking go ham in this beach. So, uh, surrounded its power uh, force with the Z move, it's going to use Gigavolt Havoc, which is the name of the move Pikachu gets to know. Uh, when it uses its Z move, and it's going to do a ton of massive damage. One hit KO, and look at all of that electricity. And then Pikachu's just standing there like, yeah, I, I, just, I just did that. I one shot you, bro. So she's kind of mad, but she's not. Again, this is a demo. Um, so we finally get to see what a Z move looks like. It looked very cool, especially uh, being able to witness Pikachu's Z move with all that electrifying intensity going on in that battle. Goddamn, Gigavolt in uh, Havoc was goddamn pro. So, we're going to go ahead and give back Pikachu. We're going to go ahead and give back Pikachu to the professor. And the um, our buddy here is going to take us back to town. I believe he's going to take us back to town. I believe that was the end. That's the end of the trial. So, we completed the trial. We were given our... Uh, the Z-Band and all that stuff, but we ended up having to give away Pikachu, so we gave Pikachu back, so that was it. 
that was the end of the very first part of the demo, so it's going to record our saved data, and we get to see this cool little cinematic now. So we got all these starter Pokemon that we just witnessed. We get to see some of the cool locations in different areas. Uh, a little Z-move action from the female trainer. Uh, we get to also adventure on Pokemon. And I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of that. Uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of a taste on that in a little bit. We get to see some of the cool and interesting uh, people that we're going to meet. We get to see the two legendaries um, for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. And of course... They always have to throw in a nice little advertisement, but first they're going to say more adventures uh, when we purchase the actual uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon 4 version. And uh, Pokemon, again, Sun and Moon is going to be available on November 18th of 2016. So, I believe we get to still adventure in too, so we're going to go ahead and go back into the demo version. Uh, we are now, where are we? Okay, so the professor is taking us into the um, the Pokemon Center, I believe. And the reason... Oh, so we got the ride pager. So the ride pager is what uh, allows us to ride different uh, Pokemon within the game. Um, we've got Tauros that has been registered to our ride pager. And we're going to be able to use Tauros. Um, we're going to be able to use Tauros in this demo version. I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of that right now. Uh, without further ado... He's going to go ahead and go into the Pokemon Center, and the reason being is um, in order to transfer our Greninja and an item that we get later, we have to actually go to him. Um, so our progress has been saved at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and check out this uh, new... Uh, uh, this is random person here. I, didn't, I don't think I talked to him before outside of the Pokemon Center, um, but he didn't really do anything. So we're going to go ahead and go into the Pokemon Center, see if anything has changed in here. But we are going to go ahead and heal up our Greninja from the battles that we just experienced. Um, in order to go ahead and do a little bit more battling um, from the exact same route that we just came from. But again, the Professor is going to be in here. And in order to transfer the Greninja and an item that we're going to get later, uh, we have to go to the talk to the Professor and he will automatically transfer it to the brand new Pokemon Sun and Moon games that we get onto our 3DS. So nothing has changed. We've got all of these random buildings and people. They don't do anything. A lot of the buildings are actually closed off. I'm going to go ahead and see if the Slowpoke have moved. And no, they haven't moved yet. So we're going to go ahead and assume everything is still exactly the same as what we left it. We're going to go ahead and pop open the ride pager. And we're going to call Tauros. And the reason why I did this is because the Tauros is faster than me uh, running or walking. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything that will make it faster. But I couldn't find anything. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and adventure off into the rem the remainder of this little city that we're in. Uh, I'm going to make sure I witness everything that I can possibly witness within this city. And we're going to go ahead and do so by going super south. There is one more building that I left off and one more person that I left off. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this person. Again, there's another slowpoke here. And I've got to make sure there's nothing... Uh, further south, no, it's just a closed off pier. So we can go ahead and adventure into this building here. And pretty much it is a, it is the ferry building where we first probably uh, adventured into. Uh, the ferry probably uh, left us onto this uh, little city here. And this person's scared about going onto ships and scared about boats and scared about the vast open sea. And we got this guy who probably sends us onto the ferries as well. And we got another Machamp here. So, uh, we've got one more guy to talk to in here. Um, he doesn't do much as well. So, we're going to go ahead and adventure back off out into this. And we're going to go ahead and hit it on up onto our Tauros. And a little bit of a fast forward here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit up the, the, uh, the route that we left off earlier where we were doing our trial. There is a brand new female trainer here. And what she wants us to do is face off against uh, three additional trainers. Now, I at first I did not know how to remove these rocks, but I did know Tauros was a part of the adventures into doing that. This guy hasn't changed, and when I say the three trainers, um, this is one of them. The, uh, guy, the little dude that we saw up north that I said was very cool with his swimming trunks, that is part of the three trainer encounters that that lady wants us to do. So I was assuming he was supposed to be a little bit later. Um, so, 
Uh, we've completed already one of the trainers. Now this is the second trainer of three that we need to defeat um, on this route before we can face off against our final trainer. We're going to go ahead and continue using Greninja because it's the only Pokemon that we have. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Water Shuriken on this Pokemon, but it doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. I thought it would have been a little bit easier, but again, I don't have that much difficulty getting it down to pretty much a mere 1 to 2 HP. This Pokemon, however, does a move, and it does quite a big chunk of damage that I thought it would do on a demo. And uh, it did quite a chunk of damage on my Greninja, and I wasn't too happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and finish it off with a nice little aerial lace to get a different perspective on uh, the, how the moves look in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And now that he has been charged up, my Greninja, now that we have destroyed one of the Pokemon on the opposing team, he gets to turn into Ash Greninja, the super cool form for Greninja. And we're going to be facing off against a Rock Ruff, so that makes it even easier. So we're going to go ahead and go back to Water Shuriken. And what's great is we finally get to see, well, we not finally get to see, we saw it earlier, but we get to see uh, Ash Greninja using his signature move, Water Shuriken. Now, I was hoping it would look a little bit different with the Shuriken on its back, but it still does these simple um, Water Shuriken uh, animations. So. That is two of the three trainers defeated. We are still on Tauros. We finally get to encounter another Pokemon. I wasn't actually happy about this because, well, it, it's just a young goose, and there's not that many more Pokemon that we get to see in the demo. Uh, we pretty much encountered everything. And we're going to go ahead and clean up this guy as soon as possible. What, what I did notice was we do our, the clothing of our trainer changes uh, when we are on the um, writing forms of our Tauros. So uh, the, the trainer does have a change of clothing when we go onto our Tauros, and it does adventure with us into battle. So I kind of figured out there was a Tauros has to do something into opening up those rocks. It just has to. That's why we were given this Tauros. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to this lady, and basically she does the same thing as well. So I assumed the guy up north that we're about to talk to was the third trainer, uh, was one of the three trainers, and he was. So... We're going to go ahead and see the cave. The cave is blocked up by two Machamps, and this guy basically says, Oh, it's so cool to see two Machamps face off against each other. So we're going to go ahead and go down this ledge, and I'm going to read into it a little bit more on the ride pager. And it does give us a little bit of an in-depth sneak peek on how to use our uh, Tauros. So all we have to do is hold down uh, one of our buttons, and he does some super-duper dash, and goes ahead and breaks up all the... Uh, uh, rocks that are in our way and turns them into rubble. So I'm going to go ahead and do so from here. i got to hold down a button and he's just going to go boom, 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 and it actually looks really cool. And I'm actually very, very, I find this very fascinating. I, I love it. So this is the third and final trainer that we have to defeat in order to face off against the fourth and final, she thinks she's super cool trainer. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do so by facing off against this guy. He has two Pokemon as well, uh, very similar to all the Pokemon that we've seen thus far. Again, we can only use Greninja, so bear with me here. Uh, what will Greninja do? Greninja going to be using Water Shuriken because he's cool as, but it doesn't, again, it just does not do as much damage as I hoped for. But guess what? It fainted on the fourth try. So... Uh, now that uh, Water Shuriken has defeated or downed one of the Pokemon on the opposing team, uh, Greninja gets to finally turn into Ash Greninja for the second bout. And on the second bout, we are going to be facing against a Young Goose, which we have had no difficulty facing off uh, before, and we've seen plenty of them. So we're going to go ahead and defeat this Young Goose with Water Shuriken. It should be super simple. And uh, before we go ahead and face off against the fourth trainer, there is one more thing that I can show you. Uh, it is another trial, and I'm not going to do the whole trial. Uh, it is not one of the trials that we got to see before. This is just a side trial. It's uh, a way to show you something in the game. And what I mean by that, it's uh, basically how to capture Pokemon, uh, how to use Pokeballs. So we're going to go ahead and get on our Tauros, go through here, go through there. And we're going to go ahead and adventure off into one more pile of rock and talk to this guy who's going to take us onto the, off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and see our uh, professor here. 
And the professor is simply going to show us how to capture Pokemon. As always, in every single Pokemon game, uh, basically, you have to be shown how to capture a Pokemon. Now, in Generation 1, we had the Magikarp dude, the guy that looked like a Magikarp. I don't know what he was doing. But he failed at showing us how to capture a Pokemon. Uh, they've taken it up to a notch in the Alolan region. And these guys actually know their shiz, their shenanigans. And on this trial, he basically gives us Pokeballs. And we have to go ahead and catch as many Pokemon as we can with the Pokeballs that we have. But what I realized is we don't get to keep any of these Pokemon. So I was like... Screw this trial. I'm going to do it once, show you guys what it looks like, and then leave. But our professor here is going to show us what uh, capturing a Pokemon is all about. So let's go ahead and see his uh, expertise on capturing Pokemon. It's been freaking 20 years. I'm pretty sure I know how to capture a Pokemon now. But not everybody is playing Pokemon for 20 years. But this might be someone's first time playing Pokemon. So, of course, I mean, I can understand why this is here. But what's great about this is this guy actually knows how to damage a Pokemon and then get it weakened and capture it a different way. So finally, the, sh the strategies that we've been taught all these years have come down to this and they're showing us the correct way. Kind of. You can put a Pokemon to sleep, paralyze, and do all that cool stuff and that will help as well. But at least he's damaging the Pokemon. So he, uh, the professor captures this Pokemon. And we are about to make our way and travel into the, the wilderness ourselves and capture our very first Pokemon of the demo ourselves as well. Again, this is just a side little sequel to the demo and a side little sequel to Trials of this, ge of this game. And I'm not sure how it's going to be working in the full version, but uh, yeah, we're basically just going to walk through this, uh, these patches of grass and make sure we find a wild Pokemon. Again, I only do it once. I could have done it 50 million times, but the reason why I didn't do so uh, is because we don't get to keep any of these Pokemon at all. They get sent back into the wild. So we got Rockruff here. I got Greninja as a Water-type Pokemon, so I'm not going to use his Water-type moves. I'm going to go ahead and use Aerial Ace because Aerial Ace is weak against Rock-types because Aerial Ace is a Flying-type move. And the reason why I'm using it is because I don't want to use a water type move and it ends up killing the rock rub. My goal here is to capture this Pokemon. So I use Aerial Ace and I, um, based off of the calculations and the percentages here of these health bar, I am able to use it again. So I'm going to go ahead and use Aerial Ace one more time before I go ahead and throw a Pokeball and make sure I get the capture off here. And we finally are going to go ahead and throw our very first Pokeball of the demo, capture our very first Pokemon. I don't believe it's going to be too hard. The animation here has changed a little bit, but we do get the little shake and bake. Uh, the three shakes and bakes are good to go, and we get the little Pokeball, uh, golden a Pokeball up here, and it just basically says, gotcha, uh, Rockwolf was caught. So it's a cool little animation. I really love what they've done uh, for Pokemon Sun and Moon. We're going to go ahead, and this guy's going to applaud us for capturing our very first Pokemon, but I'm going to give him the middle finger and say, uh, yeah, I'm done with this, bro. I am done with this. So we are going to make our way out. We're going to say, I am done with the trial. But guess what? All the Pokeballs he gives us, we have to give back. And all the Pokemon that we've caught, a.k.a. just Rockruff, we have to send back into the wild. So Rockruff has been sent back into the wild. And we're going to go ahead and make our way out of here. And we got one more thing to do. That's the tr uh, last remaining trainer. Come on, let's speak English here, bro. The last remaining trainer, which was this female here. And she does give us an item that we can send into our uh, official Pokemon Sun and Moon games as well. Not a great item, but I mean, it's just something that we can use. Uh, but I'll go ahead and show you guys that in a minute. Uh, she also has uh, multiples of Pokemon. She doesn't have just one. She has two. Uh, starting off with a pretty simple Pokemon that we can take care of. But we're going to go ahead and use Greninja here to take care of that one. And um, Greninja is all powerful with his moves. We're going to go ahead and use Aerial Ace. Should be decent enough on this Pokemon here. Um, but it wasn't. It actually didn't do enough damage at all. I thought it would have done much more. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and not play stupid. Um, and go ahead and use Night Slash. See if Night Slash is a little bit better. And Night Slash was a little bit better. So I should have used two Night Slashes to take care of this Pokemon. Uh, yes, it is only Dragon type. I thought Aerial Ace would have been pretty damn decent enough, but it just sadly wasn't. So we used Night Slash. Now we get to see what Night Slash looks like, so that's pretty cool. The only other move that I did not use in this whole demo was Double Team. I just did not feel like using it. So we are going to go ahead and adventure off one last time as Ash Greninja and face off against our one and final Pokemon, and that is Pikachu. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue without using Water Shuriken. We're going to go ahead and continue with Night Slash because Night Slash seemed to do a lot of damage. And it did pull out a huge chunk of Pikachu. Uh, but what's not great about Pikachu is that it's an electric type and uh, Ash Green Engine is a water type. So we're going to go ahead and use finish it off with Night Slash because, again, it did pull off a great chunk of HP from Pikachu last time it was used around. And we have finally completed the... Uh, demo from Pokemon Sun and Moon. But she's going to give us a star piece that we can send to Pokemon Sun and Moon's final version uh, once we get it when it goes live. So we get this cool star piece that we get to send to the full version of the game. And again, uh, we get to go... We, the reason um, we are playing this demo is to get Ash Ninja and this star piece. I'm not too sure what the star piece is going to do when we get to our full version. But I have to talk to this guy. He's going to send us back to the city that we first originally started at. And I'm going to go ahead and end the demo off uh, within the Pokemon Center. And the reason being is uh, in the Pokemon Center is the Professor. And the Professor is going to send out my Ash Greninja and my Star Piece to the full versions of the game once I get them. And uh, what are you going to play? Pokemon Sun or Moon first? Uh, stay tuned for some more Pokemon content brought to you by For the Win Itachi. And thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. For the Win Itachi is out.